joining me today roverland that's the uh, channel that's all about anything and everything land rover and here we are today we um we're doing a recap on this one again yes uh, a couple of weeks back i uh did an unboxing and i added to this um collection and so let's just take a look at it again real quick all right yeah why not so this is the only boxed version I have of this. I got it at KB Toys. This is what I, I purchased, uh, five ninety nine, dollars uh, the Land Rover station wagon, and it's a, it, it's a trademark uh, dealio by New Ray, all right? Now this one is uh, New Ray. This is green with the white top, chrome five-spoke wheels there, all right? So uh, let's take a, take a moment to take a look at that. So here it is, loose, very kind of cool. I really like this, heavy, heavy, heavy. This is a big, big unit right here. This is a big unit right here. Yeah, so almost, uh, almost six, uh, five and a half inches long. And uh, they, they command for, you know, almost two, two and a half inches wide. Just a big, big monster, all right? Uh, opening doors, as you see, this one just can't keep its doors shut. Uh, white top, the plastic uh, window, the clear window piece is one piece. It uh, attaches to the metal there on the top there. Got these uh, robust bumpers due to the fact that this is a uh, friction. Friction, it's not, a, it's not a pullback. You pull it back, it'll go back. If you push it forward, it'll go forward. So it is a friction gear, uh, independent sus suspension on there. The, the, this is a leaf spring on a Defender. <laughs> so it must be stage one V8, right? <laughs> but anyway, uh, very cool. Oh, here, it's got the scale on it. One thirty second scale as we flash you there. So really kind of cool. Um, yeah, this one is a uh, new Ray. It, it says right there, on the uh, tag here, get it spun around here. New Ray, 1995. All right, so there it is, loose, boxed. Here it is in yellow. Yellow, yes, yeah. so once again, got the uh, same kind of wheels on there. Yellow version, all is black and yellow. Very kind of cool. Um, this one, the uh, <laughs> the, the uh, windshield is keeps coming coming down I gotta somehow fix that a little bit so uh, it doesn't want to uh, stay up so get that going there but uh, really kind of cool as well uh, I really like the yellow this would be my favorite car of all times the double-a yellow Land Rover 90 that would be it hard top that would be awesome all right, let's move on. So the next car that I got was this one here, which um, is is a new race still. But uh, as you see, this is 96, so a year later, as you see, they really kind of uh, scaled back on the under gear and uh, everything. Now this one, uh, this one is a freewheeler. This does not have any motor at all on it. This has uh, plastic wheels, but it's sa the, still the same casting all the way around, pretty much, you know? Um, hold on, hold on a second, I got, oh boy, holy cow, we're hitting an earthquake here. <laughs> all right, come, I'm sorry about that guy. <laughs> the music was bugging me over there, <laughs> I couldn't think. <laughs> So anyway, so this here is the uh, second year, and uh, they even added a tow hitch on it. But they they changed the uh, the bottom casting of the the base, I guess, uh, screwed in. But uh, cheaper build per se, and then they changed the tires. You can see that this is now what is that? 
six spoke uh, polished aluminum. It's not really chrome, but it does still have the uh, retains the opening doors with the <laughs> steering wheel that's right in your lap. So very kind of cool there. Well, in the last uh, video, and like I say, I'll try to tag that. I got this bugger here, and um, wow, we are once again making <laughs> making changes. So it's kind of a hybrid. It's got the base of this '96, and it has uh, the uh, stamp there. You can see that it is stamped there. 1996 made in china new ray if we can kind of get that in focus there you go and so it's got this base but now they went back with the rubber tires yeah it's got the same old classic rubber tires pretty much the same design and now instead of fancy chrome and not quite the dull polished aluminum they are just gray plastic hubs, but it's the, the uh, five spoke. So just kind of a neat evolution. The other thing is this has no opening doors. This is all plastic now. So they went away with uh, the metal casting die cast. It, it still is 1 32nd scale, uh, but uh, yeah, they went away with that. Now they did retain that big huge uh, bumper tow hitch on there, but you can see that even the wheel size is a little bit off. If you look at the window there, the uh, rubber tires are a little bit smaller, which are just as uh, fine. But then this is a nice uh, green, uh, forest green, but it's molded forest green plastic where this is painted uh, green. And then it's got a nice tan interior. Very, very nice. Now we can't quite see it because, you know, they have done uh, lock the doors on us. <laughs> so, so there you go. I just wanted to uh, give you a recap about um, this interesting new Ray model. And this is being the last one that I've got. They've gone totally here in uh, 1996 into uh, plastic, but uh, still a very, very respectable toy. Uh, you know, I'm not really sure what the price point was on this one. You know, here back then, you know, $7.99, uh, I got it on sale for $5.99 there. So this, I would say, you know, is, you know, $5.99, if not cheaper than that, because it's all plastic. Not really sure if these came in the box anymore or if they were just mass producing them and uh, selling them out of, uh, you know, uh, bin, you know, box bin, you know, but I really love the color. I saw this one, uh, had to pick it up and uh, yeah, it, it turned out to be a, another total variation of this model. Uh, I, you know, and I don't remember exactly what I paid for it. But uh, it wasn't that it wasn't over ten dollars. I know that for sure. But uh, but yeah, it's kind of neat to well, not kind of neat to see the progression of going from uh, you know this friction car, totally metal, to having a cool, awesome <laughs> undercarriage, under undercarriage, to a lame undercarriage, but still pretty respectable. I'm not really sure how much uh, that drive yoke is going to last <laughs> with that transfer case being way over there, but uh, okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and uh, getting a little bit cheaper, these uh, plastic two-piece plastic tires really uh, are all right, but this gives it a nice, nice quality toy. Rubber, if we can get it in focus, rubber tires but yet being all plastic so you can take it out and it won't rust and, and stuff like that. So really kind of cool, really kind of cool. All right, well, there we go, folks. Uh, thank you once again for joining me. Give me a big thumbs up, will you? Yeah, and uh, like and subscribe. You know, it doesn't take anything to just subscribe. Helps me out a lot. 2021 is going to be an awesome year. And uh, so, yeah, stick around for that. 
And uh, yeah, come on over to Facebook to Roverland and uh, join up there. We're just uh, over 300 subscribers there. So uh, just awesome, awesome, awesome. 300 members, over 300 members at Roverland in the uh, Facebook world. All right, Instagram. Oh yeah, Instagram, Roverland channel. Make sure you check us out over there if you do that, Instagramming. All right, that's it for me today. Thank you for joining me. I'm your friend Dano. And remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.